The monies are there for your projects. It's just that you have to push and get it. Uh, from a FIC point of view, we'll be talking again and there are other ways that we want to strongly recommend <laughs> Uh, using the European Investment Bank and so on, that we can work on projects that benefit all cities in Europe. We are using the Inter-American Development, let's say we, we in Trinidad and Tobago, is using the Inter-American Development Bank and the European Union in having a mass trade and tourist mission in Trinidad. And why? Under the European Union agreement with the Africa, Caribbean, and Pacific countries, it's called the Economic Partnership Agreement, where any projects related to the creative industries, of which Carnival is a major contributor in the creative sector in our respective countries, they will provide for. As a result of this, we have come up with a trade and tourism mission with 13 countries in Europe and comprising 15 delegates who will be coming to Trinidad to have business-to-business -business meetings with the mass practitioners in Trinidad and Tobago to find out how best we in Trinidad and Tobago can be of assistance and support for your respective candidates. We'll be launching the global portal called carnivalgateway.com. I, I just want to mention to you all that if you do not have a website, your respective carnivals, start to develop one. That is the name of the game now. Facebook, websites, start promoting the carnival. We, 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 we must not be able to lose the heritage. We must not lose the heritage. But you will have to understand that all our carnivals are evolving. It's moving. And if you do not move with it, you will no longer have masqueraders and people coming out to look at your carnival. You have to understand, in the Caribbean, 84% of masqueraders are between the ages of 16 and 30, 31. And if you don't cater for that population, <laughs> your crime will increase and your deviancy will increase in your respective cities. You have to cater for them in the product that you're bringing out in your car without losing your heritage. So that the use of technology in your carnival is of paramount importance. And this is why in Trinidad and Tobago, we are launching the carnivalgateway.com, which is a global portal. And we sent up some staff to China, Pakistan, India, and so on. Um, and we are working with the the Central American Fund in terms of going down to Brazil and uh, Colombia in getting these raw materials also. 100% green environment in Ukraine. And this is why it is that when you're coming up with your products, it must be able to attract business. That is how it is they bring their money into you, and that is how you have win-win-win situations. And in Europe, your focus has, the governments in Europe, their focus has always been on the environment. If you look at your costumes, I mean fabric, who would have thought that fabric would have been a problem? But it is not really. The fabric is not the problem, it's the dyes on the fabric is the problem. We have to be assertive. We have to do whatever we can to create a product without losing our heritage. Create a product 
that will get corporate and companies on the band on the band bag. So yes, this is what we'll be doing in Trinidad um, for from the 25th to the 31st of May. Um, it's unfortunate, and uh, I want to let you all know that I'm working on a bigger project, a bigger project, and hoping that we can get much more of your countries down in the Caribbean to um, experience what we are doing, provide whatever you know, offer whatever assistance that we can. But I want to make something very clear, and I said it in General Assembly earlier on. Trinidad and Tobago is carnival. Most of you may be aware of it. But Trinidad and Tobago is carnival is really as a result of Europe. We have that linkage with Europe. All the, all the diasporic carnivals coming out of Trinidad. We have over 300 carnivals in countries and cities all over the world that started with Trinidad and Tobago is carnival. And our carnival is as a result of our colonial life with the Spanish, the French, the Dutch, and the English 170 odd years ago. So we have this nexus with you in Europe and we need to strengthen it. And there is, in fact, funding for intra-Europe carnival develop, uh, development and inter-Europe and the Caribbean handball development. It's up to you to be very assertive with your respective governments. Your respective mayors have to be very, very focused on getting those monies. If you do not ask for it, your governments will use those monies for some other projects. But you have to push. Let me thank you very much.